Once upon a time ago, some many years past, present, now, and future future, in an alternate universe called that land called Earth, there dwelled a boy-man-thing. Now this boy-man-thing was very good, very good at stuff, and stuff was good at him. But after a time, the boy-man-thing, named Cliff Burt Vowell, grew tired of his stuff. So one day, when it was raining and generally storming, he threw away his stuff, and into the murky, wondrous abyss it went. And by threw away his stuff, he burned it up, and the smoke filled the sky and blend melted into the misty rain. But that's not the end of this boy, oh no. But here so ends the supreme influence of that stuff. You see, this boy had heard in dreams of stuff like love, and because he thought love could be icky, icky, yucky, ucky, fun, and sweet, he dwelled on love and it moved him inside, and he hoped for it now that his other stuff was forever always gone. In the exact same moments, not too far off, in a pond river called Lane, there sat a young twin female thing named T1 Batrice River, carving a hog out of wood while floating in a bright red boat bursting with color in a mystical, vibrant aura. Exactly to the point, and not five minutes more, after the end of the quick, quick storm, the changing times of that planet called Earth turned the weather into a quite wonderful, sunny, funny-like day, and Cliff Burt Vowell took a late-day afternoon walk into Lane Country. Little did he know, or even think, of the mysterious stuff that awaited him up the bend from his house. T1 Patrice River had had a similar feeling as she waded from the boat to the sandy grassy bank to continue whittling away the day. She just knew that this day would not be quite like any other before. So she did just the same smart thing that one should do in this not so normal situation. She sat and whittled, waited on the bank. Bam! It was not more than a moment, snap, sizzle, crack, a momentous explosiveness that a brilliant, sizable tree was split in two parts, and one half, exactly symmetrical to its counterpart, landed across the Pond River Lane onto the bumpy, rocky path on the other side, creating a totally cool and wacky bridge. Wow! Being a person of great mind and awareness of the possible ramifications of missing a chance such as this, Cliff Burt Vowell skipped hop to it and hurried across the bridge toward the distressed T1 Batrice River in the small hope that she could indeed aid him, maybe in some way, as he would try to aid her in this weird, dangerous time. This indeed was that kind of day. A day so wired. A day so oh, kook that no one ever would believe it if they had not seen it with their own eyes. But wait, there is more, because yes, you see, at the very same exact moment that T1 Patrice River was almost destroyed by the massive tree, she had a revelation, an epiphany. Before she was to die, she would definitely, most surely, have to experience her first kiss. Somehow, someway, her bit of hope for love would go fulfilled no matter what. Quite luckily for T1 Batrice River, she did not experience the quick flash, maybe some pain, but still quick death and temporary permanence of death. And maybe because T1 Batrice River was a believer and believed in lots of good stuff like ice cream cakes and gooey melted chocolate, but not just food, other wacky things out of the realm of mainstream consciousness and approval like love, for instance, but not just any love one of the tumultuous, very much so, variety. So it was because of T1 Batrice River's wish for a kiss and Cliff Burt Vowell's complimentary desire for the real substance that makes experience that these two great bright young bit bits collided in size and matter during the next very moments and experienced his and her very first kiss. Something unexpected indeed but even more, something odd.